What barrel length do you prefer on the handguns that you carry? Now I have pistols from two to five inches, two, three, four, and five. Standard is a four inch. I carried in SWAT for a long time. I've been carrying that gun for 17 years, but I just recently, just a couple days ago, actually purchased uh, an XD compact. I mean, this is really an interesting little pistol. I'm an XD guy. I know not everybody is. Overall, I like XDs because of the safety factor. I like that round indicator and that cocking indicator. In the dark, when you can't press check, that's an important thing. And to me, safety is number one with firearms. But I'm going to talk about barrel length today. This is a three inch barreled pistol. I usually carry a four, like I already said. But you know, really, shootouts, they say 80% of defensive shootouts happen within eight feet. So how much will barrel length matter with that? Now the longer a barrel is, the, bit, the longer sight radius, which is gonna assist you in shooting accurately. And of course, you're gonna get a more velocity out of the round with a longer barrel. But this three inch gun is pretty interesting. I'm gonna shoot a 25 yard half size silhouette and try to shoot a 50. And I say if you can hit 50 yards or even 25 with your pistol, you're going to do well. And you're going to get the benefits of a very short handgun to carry for concealing. And I actually think, uh, well, I actually remember a shooting when I was a policeman. Two drug dealers got in a shootout. One had a 4-inch gun and one had a 5-inch. And the 4-inch got out quicker and shot and killed the, gu the guy with the 5-inch gun. And I believe that that matters. Milliseconds matter in a gunfight, right? But let's see what we can do with this 3-inch XD. So that's 25 yards. Let's shoot for 50. Not good so far. Let's try a couple more. All right, this is the first time I've shot this pistol at 50 yards, and I just found out something really interesting about the way these sights are set up on this particular pistol. I actually bought the same gun for my wife. We were shooting hers yesterday at 25 and 50 yards, and at 50 yards, her gun strikes really high in the chest when you aim low in the torso. This gun, I just found out, I was holding the same as that gun, and unfortunately, this pistol is shooting really low. So you can see, well, I don't know if you can see from the video, but though I was holding high in the chest as I was yesterday, the rounds are hitting actually in a decent pattern, but all low in the gut. So it's important when you're sighted in your guns that you get to know them. If you don't have adjustable sights for elevation, you have to know where that gun strikes. So the great thing with me is this. This is a three inch pistol that I can shoot consistently at 50 yards now that I know that the gun is shooting low. So I'm going to have to aim high in the chest, which I don't like. I'd rather have sights where I aim lower and the gun strikes higher. But this particular sight set, which we're going to change. Right now it's a three dot with a high vis front. I'm not big on that sight system. We, of course, have night sights on all of our handguns. I'm going to send my pistol along with my wife's, the Springfield Armory. They have a program there where they put in a four pound trigger, which if you carry a gun for defense, I always suggest you get a great trigger. Great triggers lead to great accuracy. And then of course, night sights. In the dark, they're a game changer. So we're gonna change these sights out and I'll make sure that the sights that get put on the pistol will strike, will aim low, but strike high at longer distances. So overall, the gun's not a failure. It's just that I hadn't shot it at that distance yet. And it shows how important it is to take a gun out and see where it strikes. Overall, Barrel length for gun fighting, I say stick with the short ones. It's out quicker, easily to, to conceal, and it's still deadly. Keep safe.
You know, I'm no different than anybody else, and I hate missing. So now that I know where this gun strikes at 50 yards, I gotta keep shooting. That's what I'm talking about. Shoot a lot. You know, the other thing too is if you're shooting a longer distance, if you're hitting well at 25 and not at 50, just start moving your sight picture around a little bit, right? Shoot to the right side of the target, shoot to the left side of the target. A gun may appear to shoot well at 25 yards, but really, when you start reaching further out, it's gonna let you know if your sights are in the middle or not. Fortunately for us, uh, well, one of the guns was centered. This one was, my wife's gun wasn't. I moved them yesterday and now they're in there. But you start missing, like the first depiction when I shot, I shot three in the center, then the next three I put to the right, to the left, still wasn't hitting it. Then in the next three, I picked it high into the chest and that's when I began to strike. That's what you gotta know with your gun. If you're not gonna be able to replace the sights, Get sights with elevation adjustments. You gotta know where you can strike at longer distances. Don't give up and think it's, you're not capable of it. Because this blind old man that's falling apart every day just put three directly into that 50, and I'm a happy man. I think I'm gonna call it quits there, at least on camera. Keep safe.